So we're covering CinemaCon this week since there haven't been any official trailers, but I can still talk about each news individually anyway. Yesterday we covered the likes of Disney and a couple of their Moana projects, but let's now move over to Paramount as they've announced a brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles project. And it's not a fully original work, as it's an adaptation of a well-known and very popular story for the Turtles. Now this is not your standard TMNT cartoon vibes. This is set to be an R-rated story, following an alternative future when there's only one last remaining Turtle left, seeking to avenge the death of his fellow brothers, by killing the grandson of Shredder. Now, at least in the example of the comics, this is in a universe dubbed the Roninverse, as this is called The Last Ronin. Now, as a lot of the descriptions go for this Last Ronin story, we don't actually get to know who of the Turtles is actually alive. The artwork we have from the upfront comics simply shows a single turtle, clearly not a teenager anymore, and has all of the weapons of all of the brothers. It's just part of the mystery. I read the plot on Wikipedia, so I know, but eh, the movie could go in a different direction. Still, this is an interesting and fascinating new direction to go for the TMNT franchise, though I guess in a sense could have been expected. As much as it's very clearly aimed for children, typically, this is a series from the 90s, you know? 90s kids have kind of aged. I'm a 96 kid, I don't even think I count as a 90s kid, and I'm aged. Not to mention, keeping up with the vibes of R-rated content kind of fits the bill for what a modern audience may be more interested in seeing. And though I can't find an official description for this specific rendition of The Last Ronin, I think the vibe of this movie kind of speaks for itself. It's apparently a, just a desolate, dingy world with a very gritty and cynical turtle. Similarly, there's extra elements to the story in the graphic novel whereby they're being haunted by their fellow dead brothers to really add this element of unease and discomfort. Now apparently The Last Ronin was initially a five issue comic limited series and has only been released since 2020. <laughs> It's a modern telling and definitely a fan favourite. Clearly taking reference to some of the earliest ideas of TMNT since this is what they originally looked like. But one thing I can point out is the sort of format for this miniseries was that we get to see each of the Turtles and Master Splinter being killed off one by one by said grandson. Thus sparking the whole plotline for our main turtle to barely survive, get by, and then vow to, you know, vow revenge and all that. Thank you for making it halfway through this very short little video. Do let me know your thoughts on the turtles and the last Ronin. Have you read the books? Are you going to? I'm hoping to cover more CinemaCon news over the week. Just this one had a lot less than I thought the moment I started the research. So come subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with it all. And I'll tell you some more refined opinions of mine on the things I'm a little bit more aware of. But still, let's get back to the rest of the last Ronin as I'm mid-research in the middle of this video. And with the initial surprise success of the miniseries, they went on to make a sequel comic called The Last Ronin 2 Re-Evolution, which is one of the biggest comics of the year with more than 140,000 copies ordered. I guess it's another franchise to run with. Now, as for the people that are attached to this upcoming adaptation, we have Tyler Burton Smith set to be working on the script having also done Child's Play and Boy Kills World, which is also an R-rated action movie. Whereas the production company for this movie is 18 Hertz, with Walter Hamada up front producing the project, formerly from DC Comics. And though throughout this video I've been showing you shuffled footage from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, this is not actually set to be an animated movie. Really, I should have shuffled some of the other TMNT movies for this video, as this is, of course, a live action movie, really adding to the grit and severity of this Ronin verse. I'll be curious to know what they define as a live action story. Are we talking live action, live action, or, you know, Michael Bay kind of live action? Either way, if it does look incredibly ugly, I guess that fits with the overall grit. Now, I wasn't aware of this comic series a week ago, but I reckon after hearing all the news around it and some mild spoilers, I think I might do some research in preparation for this upcoming film. We know no details about the release date or any other people introduced to this movie, and it's certainly not going to be for the same audience as last year's. But considering TMNT is a billion dollar franchise, and has earned all sorts even in recent years, plus the pop-off with this specific book story, I'm sure no matter how they try to spin this for an audience, it will always do well. The Turtles are one of those strangely sticky franchises that just keep coming back, being rebooted and redone. Clearly there's demand there, so all the power to them to do something creative and new from the most popular story for the most diehard of fans. As someone who wasn't very familiar with them from the 90s, because I was, you know, minus four, consider me intrigued to see where else they're going to take this world. 
I'm so fresh-faced, I've only seen Mutant Mayhem. Now I'm going to see the far other end of the spectrum. Love that. But on that note, I'm going to end things off there. Bit of a short one this time, since there was a lot less information about this movie than I thought. But there's all sorts of other CinemaCon news that we're going to be discussing this week. So do tag along to see the rest of those. Let me know your thoughts on TMNT The Last Ronin. God, these titles get too long. And on that note, my name's been Daz. Thank you very much for reaching the end. And I shall see you in a little bit.